company. It isn't like you used to in my day. My father said, so do you want to leave Citibank? And do you want to go work someone else, somewhere else? I had a choice. You don't have that choice today. Any large company that gives you a raise has somebody you don't see studying, how can we keep that from happening again? How do we hire people to do this job who don't need raises? Because it's not just you, it's your function, there's lots of other people. And if they're not thinking of it, someone's thinking of how do I buy that company and fire the person who gave that person a raise and retool and reorganize the technology so we're not dependent on it. What we see is that you don't have the choice you used to have. So when you analyze entrepreneur, it's nice to analyze it, should I be an entrepreneur? But what's missing, of course, is that you don't have a choice when it becomes an entrepreneur. Third reason, lifestyle. If you had all the money you wanted in the world, if you were super successful, either in your own business, I hope, and wish for you were inherited or got the money, what would you do with it? You'd want lots of time with your family, or with the people you love, or both. You would say, I now have time to spend with the people I care about the most. That's what you really want money. And all the things you want to buy, you don't want to buy them, you want to buy them to enjoy them with the people you spend time with. And what's amazing about the home-based business and this is why I say every entrepreneur succeeds when he goes on his own, he or she succeeds the first day, is the job comes with the lifestyle as if they were successful. Now, am I sitting here telling you that when you become an entrepreneur and work from home, it's easy, wrong. In fact, you're gonna work a lot more hours. You'll pick up two hours a day not commuting. That's a big save, but you're still gonna work more hours. But the difference is you control the hours. I can remember many, many nights at Citibank, I just had to cancel what I was doing and call my parents because my boss needed to stay late and needed to finish something. I wasn't in control. It's a lot different when I put more hours in today in my own businesses, but I say, no, I'm not going to start that till I put all four kids to sleep. I'm not going to start that till my wife and I sit down with her parents for dinner, and then we'll start that function. And the ability to control your own time, hours, even though you put more hours in your own business, it's probably the most priceless reward, or I say it very simple. Uh, any home business where you control when you work, even though it's going to be longer hours, comes with the reward you're going to get when you're really successful at the end of the line. The ability to control your time and spend time with people. And the fourth reason home-based business is so exciting today and growing so fast is actually the reason you're here very much this weekend, and that's network marketing. That's a new method of doing business that used to be, who do you know in your church group? Oh, you, who do you teach? What people do you know? How do we monetize those relationships? It's completely changed. Because today it's all about social media. Network marketing is the monetization of social media. It's how you work on social media, how interesting you are, how many people you meet. And turning that into money and into a business model is network marketing. And I'm one of the few economists and only because I've seen network marketing embrace technology and change their business models so quickly that is very enthusiastic about network marketing. And network marketing gets, frankly, a bad rap from a lot of older economists, and I go, they really don't understand it because they don't see what technology, I'm a techno person, I start software companies, they don't see how fast it's changed because of technology. And let's run through some of these now. Network marketing is amazing in personal growth and training. I can't tell you the amount of people that come over to me and say, I heard you speak 21 years ago. I said, great, so you're in such and such organization and you did well. Oh, no, no, that wasn't for me at the meetings. But what I learned from that group, because of you, I stuck with it one, two years. I learned sales, I learned management. And then when the opportunity came up, I bought my little boss's company, and now I succeed in that. And so what I find is that when you put time into network marketing, you have to succeed. You will succeed with the organization you join or you will succeed with other organizations, or even not in network marketing, because you'll learn so much, because no other organizations in the world are sitting there going, they're willing to invest in you. When I worked at Citibank, they used to send me away every six weeks to a camp with psychologists for a weekend to learn better management skills. They were investing, and I thought that was normal until I got out and find nobody invests generally in their employees, and Citibank doesn't do that anymore, and pay, because people leave too quickly and only network marketing. And if you're in network marketing, already at a mid to high level, you should be really proud that you're out there distributing nets. You are out there investing in other human beings to show them a great life and a great opportunity. And even if they don't succeed with your business, they succeed in life.